Hello, welcome back to module 11 of setting up a journal with OJS 3.0, Users and Roles. This is unit 2 of this module, Roles. User roles govern who can access what in the editorial workflow. OJS 3.0 provides a flexible user role system that allows you to tailor these roles to your journal's needs. To access roles, log into your dashboard through the top right corner of your journal homepage. Hover over Users and Roles and select Roles. OJS is preloaded with 17 different roles, and they are listed in this table. The table lists the roles by name and abbreviation, and then indicates the different stage assignments that can be activated for the role. This means that users with, for example, the role of journal editor, are able to assign tasks from all stages of production to appropriate users, but the production editor is only able to assign copy editing or production tasks to the appropriate users. They are unable to assign tasks related to submissions or reviews. To change these role-based abilities, tick or untick the boxes related to the responsibility you wish to change. Clicking on the expansion arrow beside the role name exposes the Edit and Remove buttons. To edit a role, click Edit. For existing roles, the permission level will be grayed out and cannot be changed through editing. But you are able to edit the role name, as well as the abbreviation for the name. Following is another opportunity to adjust the stage assignment powers of this role. Finally, you can indicate whether you want this role title to appear in the contributor list, and whether you'd like to allow users to self-register for this role, as they can with readers and authors. When you've completed your edits, click OK. In addition to editing existing roles, you are also able to create new roles by clicking on the Create New Role button in the top right corner of the box. When creating a role, you are able to select the ideal permission level. As we saw while editing the roles, the permission level becomes locked after the role is created. Following, we see the same fields we covered while editing roles. When you've completed the form, click OK at the bottom. For more information about what permissions are associated with each role, click on the Help button at the top right of the page. Scroll down to the Roles section. A brief list of the different permission levels can be found here. And that concludes our overview of roles. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next module.